Well, we're going to be starting building boats in a few weeks' time. And we typically get sets of drawings from the boat's designers or naval architects. And it might include something like that, which is a lines drawing of a boat, which is great. And that gives me an idea of the boat. But if we want to actually build it, we need the transom is the board across the back. We need that full size. And we need these building molds full size. And we need the shape of the stem in profile. We need that full size. So somehow we've got to go from a small drawing to having stuff full size. And that's what's going on here. And the process of enlarging the drawing full size, and so it's, you can see them out here, is called lofting. And the reason it's called lofting is it used to be done in the attic of the shipyard, in the loft of the shipyard. That was the only space flat enough and big enough to do it. So, and the term is stuck, so it's still called lofting. And the reason we can't do it photographically, because we have the technology these days, you get these big printers, if the lines would be too big. If I enlarge this photographically, the lines would be 15 millimeters wide. They would, you know, we need more precision than that. And the other thing is this drawing was done manually. So there'll be odd little lumps and bumps and flat spots. And if I enlarged the lumps and bumps and flat spots photographically, they'd be enormous and our boat would look dreadful. So while we're enlarging it in this very traditional old fashioned method, we also refair and perfect the lines and we deal with any problems and issues. So that's ish what we're up to. Here, we have what's called a table of offsets. And so it's a load of rows and a load of columns. And the columns relate to these slices across the boat here. And the rows relate to these slices across the boat here. And so they enable us to enlarge it full size accurately. So they're a series of coordinates or ordinates. It's a bit like map references. You know, you'll, someone will give you a map reference and that enables you to arrive at a point on a map precisely. And so this is a bit like that. So it enables us to loft the boat accurately. Our job as boat builders, if we're commissioned by a client to build this boat, the client wants us to represent the designer's intentions. They don't want my idea of the boat, they want the designer's idea of the boat. So I need to do it accurately. And having these ordinates, these coordinates, enables me to re reproduce this full size accurately so I know I'll be giving the client what they've commissioned, not my idea of what they've commissioned. So that's the, in the whole course. The course is 40 weeks long and we allocate two weeks to lofting. And that's divided into two sections. The first week, and this is the first week, everybody lofts the same small boat, and it's about learning the process. And it's a boat that we're very familiar with, so we can easily see if there are errors or issues. So it's not a problem for us, and everybody does the same thing. So we've got four groups of three people, each lofting the same boat. That's week one. Week two of lofting, we actually, once they've got a, a bit of proficiency in the process, we actually loft the boats we're going to build as a group as part of the, the rest of the course. So week one is about learning the process, and week two, once they've got some mastery of the process, week two is about lofting the boats we're actually going to build. Yeah, for me, for instance, I have absolutely no knowledge of this whatsoever. Um, and I haven't done any sort of like map reading before or anything like that. So there will be other students who will just kind of instantly click for them um, in terms of how this would work. And then there will be people like myself as well who've just literally got no idea. And um, we'll just be literally, it's just like a step-by-step -step process um, and having an understanding of how um, it, it kind of works. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of mainly it. It's, uh, it is quite, it is a, a, a really confusing subject, but um, it just, it just takes its time for your head to wrap around it.